This is breaking news from News 8. Good evening. We are following a number of breaking news stories from the president's COVID-19 diagnosis to a fatal plane crash outside of Batavia. But first, Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren has been indicted by a grand jury. The indictment stems from alleged campaign finance violations during her 2017 mayoral re-election campaign. That grand jury indictment was unsealed today, charging Mayor Warren and two others, including the city's finance director, with two Class E felonies. Rebecca Fath was at the news conference and has been covering this story all along. She joins us now live with the very latest. Rebecca. Adam, so the mayor can remain in her position while facing these criminal charges, but she could also be facing up to four years in state prison if she's convicted. We assert by this indictment that this is allegedly a scheme to defraud. It's one of the two felony charges Mayor Lovely Warren is facing. Engaged in the scheme, constituting a systematic ongoing course of conduct with intent to defraud more than one person or to obtain property from more than one person by false or fraudulent pretenses, representations, or promises. A Monroe County grand jury handed up an indictment against Mayor Lovely Warren and two others who worked to get her reelected, Albert Jones Jr. and City of Rochester Finance Director Rosalind Brooks Harris. It's surrounding campaign finance activities from Warren's 2017 reelection run. Back then, Warren's opponents complained about a transfer of money from Warren's political action committee to her campaign committee, saying it was illegal and should be investigated. And now, it has been. It's largely the use of the political action committee in conjunction with an authorized campaign committee, uh, the source of, source of which is obviously in violation of the election law as well as the penal law, and quite frankly, in terms of the uh, first count, the entire political action committee itself, very well fraudulent. So it's really the common operational control of those two things. So, Adam, Mayor Lovely Warren is scheduled to face a Cayuga County judge right here in Monroe County on Monday. For now, we are live downtown. Rebecca Fox News 8. Rebecca, thank you. Reaction now coming in from other leaders in the area to the charges against Mayor Lovely Warren and her lawyer is speaking out. Our team coverage continues now. Christian Garzone joining us live from City Hall. Christian, what did you hear today? Well, Adam, the lawyer for Mayor Lovely Warren, Joe D'Amelio, says this case is not about clerical errors or honest mistakes. That's what he believes happened here. He said no one got ripped off here and no money was taken out of anybody's pockets. He says what needs to be shown is that there was criminal intent to violate the penal law and election law. We also spoke with county legislator Rachel Barnhart, who ran against Mayor Warren in 2017 and helped get this investigation rolling. She said today these charges are important because we need to make sure elected officials are acting in the public's interest, not their own or that of donors. She went on to add that this was a pay-to-play on steroids. The mayor got campaign money, donors got grants and contracts, and says all we need to ask ourselves if the public benefited from this scheme at all. The mayor's office uh, has been working with the Board of Elections for approximately three years now. Uh, looking for some answers and some guidance for them uh, as far as what to do and how to do that. They had been in, the, with, in contact with the Board of Elections uh, three years ago. Uh, the board uh, gave them some advice and they took it. They did exactly what the board uh, said to do. This is a very sad day for Rochester to have the mayor indicted on felony charges, but it's very important that we understand why this is happening. We have campaign finance laws to protect the integrity of our elections. The magnitude of these allegations are nothing short of cheating. Now, the mayor's lawyer says he looks forward to a larger picture being shown when this all goes to court next week on Monday. At City Hall, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam, back to you in the studio. Christian, thank you. It certainly will be interesting to see what evidence is available. Some of you might be wondering when you hear all this, what exactly does it mean to be indicted by a grand jury? To put it simply, it's when a jury of approximately 16 to 23 people are presented information regarding a case from a prosecutor. The jury ultimately votes on whether they feel there's enough evidence there to charge the person involved in the case with a crime. An indictment is not the same as a conviction. 
meaning someone is guilty of a criminal offense. A, an indictment, a charge, just means that the individual is now formally charged.